Okay, we're here tonight with Scarborough TV News at Caton Bay with the Gold Wing Honda Light Show. We're going to speak to some people about what they're expecting tonight, the organisers and some of the participants. Okay, so we're here with Papa Joe. This is his second time here at the Gold Wing Parade. And um, I believe the first time you came, you won. I did, I won the best lit trike. And uh, what are your expectations this year? Well, I've had a look at all the other bikes and trikes and about, and I'm still confident that I'll do well. I'm pretty sure you will. It's one of my favourites of the show. I see that you've named the bike Caitlin, the number plate's Caitlin. Is yep, my granddaughter's, my granddaughter's called Caitlin, uh, so she's hoping that when she's 17 she'll get the bike as well as the licence plate. So she's hoping to get that from you, is she? Well, she can hope all she wants, the answer's no. I understand you've had the bike now for 21 years? It's 21 years old, the bike, yeah. And it's been all over Europe? Yep, all and over Europe, Paris, Madrid, Spain, Russia, uh, Monte Carlo, various other places in between. And uh, what do you enjoy coming to Scarborough? Scarborough is a great seaside town. Uh, it always has been. I used to bring my children here when they were younger. And uh, it's a pleasure to be back uh, because it's a great town. The people are great and they always welcome the gold wingers and the bikers. So I'm very happy to be here. And you're looking forward to tomorrow? Yes. Apparently yep. it's going to go out of the band because it's the last year, apparently. Yep. Well, apparently, but as, as James Bond once said, never say never. And um, I see you've done some modifications here to your bike um, yep. since you've had it. Um, well, it was trait about nine years ago and uh, obviously added all the lights, etc. And found a spoiler and a scrapyard that cost me £10 and looks absolutely fabulous on the back of my it bike. It does look fabulous. You know, so I'm happy with it. That's yeah. the main thing. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you, Pap Joe, and um, I do really wish that you uh, win this evening. Good man, thanks very yeah. much. Me Even too. though he is from Scotland, I'm proud. Scottish and proud, yes. Okay, so we're here with Martin um, with his slider. Um, another fellow Scot from uh, Papa Joe. So uh, how many years have you owned Slider? This one, I don't know, but four or five years. And did you like buy it? Did you buy it as a, is it a trike or is it, oh, it's just no, a no, single just bike. bike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what sort of modifications have you done to it? <laughs> <laughs> we've, had, we've added some uh, Scottish flags and some lights. Yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. And do you feel like you're within, in with any chance of winning this evening? No, I don't think so. No, no. but it's just the fun of coming. Just it, yeah. And uh, is it yourself that you come with or? Yeah, I'll come with my mate here next door. And then our wives as well. And we, yeah. We make a holiday out of this. We come yeah. down for the holiday. Yeah. So we've been here all week. So you're going to be uh, first down there tomorrow? You're going to stay for the firework display? Oh yeah, stay for the fireworks. Yeah. Like yeah, stay yeah. sober. Yeah. yeah. Uh, until the bike's parked up. Until anyway. the bike's parked up and then we'll make party on. Yeah. yeah. And uh, have you been anywhere else in the country or Europe with the bike? Well, I've been all over the UK. Yeah. Um, been some foreign countries, but not a lot. Okay, and uh, next year, um, I understand you're going to, is it Mablethorpe? Um, no, next year there's going to be a light show in Berwick on Tweed. Berwick on Tweed. Closer to home. Right. And we're going to go to Landudno as well because that's really, it's really nice. And are you staying here in Caton this evening? Yeah. 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 <laughs> right, well I'm going to leave you to it and I wish you all the best and I hope you have a fantastic time. Thank you very much. Thank, you, very much. Thank, Thank you. you. So I'm here with uh, one of the Gold Wing um, Patriots, Zena. Um, she's been coming here for the last six years. Um, what is it about the uh, Goldwing Light Parade that you love so much? Scarborough is the best one. Scarborough is the best one. Cat Scarborough is the best one. The people, the actual bikes that come here yeah. are actually superb. Yeah. Um, it's a hell of a lot of money raised for the RNLI. Fantastic. And um, I understand that you are uh, one of the leading contenders to win here tonight. Uh, that's news to me. Oh well, <laughs> I've got back. I've got backstage gossip. Have you got so. information? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's between two. <laughs> and uh, how long have you owned the bike? This one I've owned six years. Six years. Yeah. And yeah. Um, what sort of modifications have you done to it? Very little actually. I've put all, had all the decals put on right. and all the lights put on, but actual engine-wise, right. it's the original engine of the original yeah. bike. So as far as that goes nothing. And what's inspired you to uh, decorate your bike how you have? For people. For people? Yeah, because when you do the charity things, the kids absolutely love it. Yeah. And the kids love to sit on it and yeah. they smile and they have the photos taken. Yeah. And it's to see the enjoyment yeah. on people's faces, you know. Fantastic. Um, there's not a better feeling than seeing people smile. 
and um, if there was anything that you could pass on to the people of Scarborough or the Scarborough Council um, to try and get the gold win back for further years, um, what would that be? Please. Please. At we, the end of the you day, heard it right here. we we love Scarborough. We and you love raise a lot of money. Scarborough. We raise a lot of money. I think it's not bring far a lot off of 30,000, a lot of tourism and a lot yeah. of idiots that get dressed up just for the purpose. Yeah. <laughs> And um, so what time will you be starting tomorrow then? Will you be enjoying the day as a yeah, tourist, whole day. riding around? Oh no, whole day standing, raising money, letting people sit on the bikes, having yeah. the pictures taken, and then the light parade at the night time. And have you come here this weekend with your family? or? I don't have any family. With your friends? Friends, yes, no family. I feel like I'm chatting around here. <laughs> And uh, you're, you're here until uh, Sunday evening, you're going to watch the fireworks display? I'm actually here till Monday. Monday. But I'll definitely see the fireworks. <laughs> so um, it's been fantastic talking to you. Thank you. And um, it's great to, to see people so inspired and like so forward in uh, raising money for such a good cause. Please, Scarborough Council, don't abandon us, please. No, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see Zena with the winner's uh, trophy later on. I'm not bothered. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter who wins, it's just down on the night, isn't it? Well, thank you very much for your time and I wish you all the best. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she's a darling. <laughs> okay, so here we are with Jam, one of the event organisers here at the Gold Wing Light Display. Um, and how are you finding this year in Scarborough? Fantastic, we've been very lucky with the weather today. I think the rest of the country have had rain, but we've had it dry, so we're, we're hoping for good weather tomorrow as well to bring out the crowds. Hopefully so. And um, I understand that you've been uh, one of the one of, one of the founding members of of, of starting this uh, campaign up? I've been involved for the last six years with it now and I've been event organiser for the last three years so I'm yeah. quite heavily involved, yes. And uh, is there any particular year that stands out with you more than um, this I think, one? I think last year was our bumper year for the, we had the fantastic weather and the crowds were out until very late at night so it was incredible last year. Um, I know for Scarborough itself it was the busiest event they'd had of the year so um, that was excellent. I, I, I can tell that the uh, Gold Wing uh, Parade seems to get more popular each year, um, but I understand this is going to be the final year in Scarborough. It, it is at the moment. Um, there's only myself and, and John who do a lot of the work, and it's got a little bit complex with some of the issues we've had to deal with around crowd safety and everything else. And I think we've almost become a victim of our own success. The crowds last year were so large. And yeah. um, there's concerns from the advisory committee about crowd safety, which is natural, you've got to be concerned about that. But both of us live a long way from here. Um, we both have jobs and we do this on a volunteer basis, so it, it was taking a lot of time out of our day. Um, so we're, we're not saying never, no. but things may have to change a little bit. Are, there, are there any ideas that um, you could put forward that may help you in the future we're, to we're, bring we'll back such an event? We'll be talking to the council about it and the other involved parties. Um, we're hoping if we can get things right, it may be two years' time we come back again. It definitely won't be next year, but um, it was a very hard decision to make because we love this event, we love coming, we love the smiles on people's faces, everything it does, it's an incredible adrenaline buzz. I've ridden in the parade now every year. I'm not riding this year because somebody else is going to ride. Right. Um, I had Ellie Walls on my trike last year, who was the Olympic torchbearer for Scarborough. Awesome. Um, and it was incredible. The, the buzz from the crowd, it's, that's what you're doing for. Um, so where's your bike this evening? Mine's gone down to two wheels now, so I'm on the back of my husband. Um, ah, right. I have my own bike, but I had a three-wheeler last year, so I was yeah. able to ride through the parade, but unfortunately I don't ride the two-wheeler. So. so we spoke with Jean earlier on, yeah. and I understand it was your idea. To, um, to pimp her ride, To yes. pimp her ride. Yes, she's um, working in the car park tomorrow. Right. Um, and she's going to be whizzing around on the, on the scooter again tomorrow night with yeah. some ladies on. And do you think she's got any chance of winning this evening? Um, I'd like to think so, but I don't think she will somehow. But she's just done it for a bit of fun, really. I think we should definitely uh, make up some novelty award for her, <laughs> don't you? Well, thanks very much for talk, okay. taking your time no and problem. talking with us. It's been an absolute pleasure, yeah. and uh, the bikes look fantastic, and I hope we see you again. Yeah, and we're just hoping to raise lots more money tomorrow for Scarborough for the RNLI. We're hoping to break the £30,000 barrier tomorrow. So £30,000? We're £27,000, £27,500 at the moment, so if we can break £30,000, that's what we're aiming for. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, Bye. thank you.